Hello, new Renome is back, and you're watching a Noob to Pro video with the Spring Fruit. But before we start, you can show your support by using Tarko Game Renome when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to this channel, and it's really to help us make better videos. With the Ector Slam, oh, there it is! Forward. There's your slam! There's the dunk! Hi guys, so before we start this grinding video, did you know that the Spring Fruit is being used by one of the bosses in this game, Bellamy or Jeremy? in the second C. So aside from grinding, our goal is to look like him. So first, we're gonna eat this fruit and boom guys, check it out. Not bad and the only thing that we need is a coat, right? Don't worry, we will get that later with the Vice Admiral. So guys, let's start. First off, Bandit Quest until level 15. Also for our first skill, the Knock skill, Z skill, there you go. This fruit is kind of similar to the Gum Fruit, right? There you go guys, so once we reach level 15, I'm gonna give you an update on our stats. Here you go, melee 10, defense 10, block fruits 25, next island is the jungle. So guys, you will go straight to the gorillas, skip the monkeys, grinding their socks. There you go. We will be unlocking the axe skill here, the spring snipe. I'm gonna show it to you, here it is. Okay, let's use it on the gorilla king. Yes, we've already unlocked this quest at level 20 there you go damage is stronger compared to the knock skill also guys use the high ground when defeating this boss there you go you cannot damage us as long as you create distance so guys keep on defeating this one go target here is level 30 so stat check oh meal defense 15 blocks for 60 next up pirate village target here the pirates until level 40 Once you reach level 40, next up, the Brutes. Target level is level 55. So again, level 55, our target now is the boss in this island, Bobby the Clown. So this is Chop versus Spring Fruit. Okay, so for the technique, guys, uh, he's a long range attack. So every time you use your skills, just dash to dodge his skills, and that's it. Pretty easy. Just a reminder, server hop until level 75. At this scene, Guys, we're in the public server, right? A friend appears, that's one. Another one appears with the dark fruit. <laughs> Is that enough, Gamer Room? No, guys. Another one appears now with the magma fruit. So there are lots of friends here. I suggest just don't attack them. We're gonna unlock our C skill here, the spring cannon. This is the best skill of this fruit. Anyways, we're gonna grind here until 75, level 75, which means we're gonna skip the first quest in the desert, okay? We're gonna go straight to the desert officers. Same strategy, guys. Use your skills to defeat them. <laughs> okay, another visitor. There you go, Dark Fruit. He tried to attack us. Big mistake. One hit, boom. <laughs> so again, we're gonna leave this area at level 90. And after that, next stop, the Frozen Village. Buy everything the ability teacher sells. Go straight to the Snow Bandits to grind until level 105. Okay? So once you reach level 105, start defeating the Yeti. Guys, do server hop with this boss, okay? That's the fastest way, trust me. Oh, by the way, we skipped, what do you call this, the Snowman. Why? Because they're so far apart and they spawn really slow, okay? So that's it. This boss is really easy to defeat. Attack and dash to dodge and that's it. Repeat until you defeat it. There you go. Okay, so again... Avoid getting hit because the damage is really high. Again, target level here is level 130. Stat check. Here it is. There you go. Melee is 50, defense 55, block for 285. Next up, guys, is the Marine Fortress. So target here is a Vice Admiral, guys. Again, reach level 220. You also need to get the code, okay? In order for us to complete the cosplay. Also guys, this area is the best area to grind bellies in the first C. We're gonna unlock the F skill. Also the V skill, the Spring Emperor. Here it is, the V skill. It's kinda useless to be honest. <laughs> spring Lip has no damage, but oh, a visitor guys. This dude I think is a flame user, yes, flame user. One more tip, as long as your damage is enough, you will still get experience even though you don't kill the mob. Also another visitor guys, this time Smoke Fruit user. <laughs> Regarding the V skill, I tried using it in a closed area, but there is no increased damage. But good thing we already got the coat. 
So guys, finally the coat cosplay is complete. We are now heading to the prison, our next island. Target here. All the bosses until 350. Guys, you can do wall strat on all bosses. So you're just gonna lure one here. Okay, so you can start with the warden at level 220. As I'm gonna show you, they cannot damage us as long as there's a wall in between us. There you go, guys. See that? No damage, but we can damage them. You can also use the same strategy with the chief warden. But with swan, guys, uh, you need to create distance because he can damage you, okay? So again, just some distance. There you go. That skill. High damage. But aside from that, everything will be easy. So 350 next up, Magma Village. Target here is the Magma Admiral. We're gonna do server hop. Oh, by the way, Spring Lip Showcase. Guys, if you use the F skill, as long as you're bouncing, I think you can go really far. Anyway, just a reminder, our goal with this boss is to reach level 425. And from here on, everything will be a lot easier. So 425, right? Next area is the Whirlpool, Underwater City. And our target here is the Fishman Lord. Guys, grind here until 500. Wall Strat is the answer. Check this out. He cannot damage us here. There you go. But you can damage him. So again, imagine fighting a boss and he cannot damage you. But it is very easy for you to defeat him. Okay. So again, 500 is our target. Next stop, the Skylands. So guys, upper yard. Target here is the Whisper. So guys, you can use the Stone Strat. Here, you cannot damage you here, right? But once you use your C skill, there you go. The impact will push him towards you. So make sure to do this. Every C skill, make sure to dash and lure him away from the stone again. So back to where we started. Again, use all your skills. Repeat and defeat this boss. Anyway, this island won't end without a visitor. So we got a visitor, a flame fruit user. <laughs> also, he's using, I think this is a uh, dark step. Also Iron Mace, so he's fully equipped, not like us, combat plus spring foot, right? <laughs> okay, okay, there you go. We're gonna defeat this with this other player, but I think our damage is higher, right? Anyways, that's it, 625. And for our final island, Fountain City, our only target is the Gali Pirates. Until level 700, why? Gali captains are so far and cyborg is hard to kill when using this fruit. So guys, just one C skill and Z skill, X skill. Okay, one V skill. Guys, if you hit them properly, they will all die. But as you can see, one of them is still alive. So we're gonna use our C skill to end it. There you go. So again, guys, we're gonna finish our video here. We've reached level 700. Do you have requests, suggestions? Just comment it on the comment section and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Game Renom. Game Renom out.